What would you say to an artist that's never been to a convention, particularly this one? Um, I would say don't drink too much, <laughs> if you're working anyway. London's just one of the most famous tattoo shows, you know. In one room, there's not one person that can say they're better than the next person. You're surrounded by amazing, amazing artists from all different genres of tattooing. And see how it looks on the skin, not on the photo on Instagram. Now that I'm here, I'm like, man, what was I waiting for? I should have been out here years ago. Even if you're just going as a person and you're not an artist, it's cool just to see diversity of people. And Super inspiring and awesome being here. You know, if you're going to check out the best of the best, like you've got to, you got to come and check this place out. You're one of the most important humans here. <laughs> you know, to be invited to a prestigious, you know, convention like this as a lettering artist from Australia, just this small town kid. You know, it's, it's a true, truly humbling experience. Back in Australia, graffiti and tattooing is a very similar subculture, so it was just a natural pathway. I was heavily inspired by the guys in LA because I guess they, they pioneered the whole lettering industry and community for, for years before I come along. So it's the biggest convention in the world. There's no lettering competitions, there's no nothing. But yet, like you would say, 90% of people have got at least a small letter or some form of scripture on their body. Lettering artists, you know, can make a stand too. I prefer doing tattoo shows and not galleries, it's kind of more my people, not really wine and cheese crowd type thing, more of a, a blue collar kind of artist. I'm Cam Rackham, I'm from Orange County, California. The skull works and death oriented works, I don't see them as spooky as a lot of other people. Well, it's, it should be a celebration at the end of life. My dream always was to be in this convention, London Tattoo. My name is Sandra Daugšta and I'm from Latvia. I didn't have friends or family members with tattoos, but uh, I always found tattoos very amazing and beautiful. I prefer working in illustrative realism, making some concepts with animals or portraits. This is the best convention and best day for me because I want something and yeah, dream come true. Exchange of information is what makes you grow bigger. I will share my knowledge, my secrets, my techniques, and what happens magically is that they actually tell me their secrets, their knowledge, their techniques. And the other artists who are like keeping secret and not sharing, they're not growing so fast. And if you don't catch up, you're just gonna get left behind. And do you know what? I was nearly one of those guys. Everything needs to move forward. Some people never want to touch rotary machines. When I was honored that FK hit me up, I said to him that, look, I use coils, you know, if this machine doesn't work the way I like to work, like, you know, I'm gonna have to say no to the sponsorship. But the minute I use it, it works. And I've been exclusively using the Zion. It's almost kind of changed the way that I tattoo. Very similar to drawing on the skin. The way they work with the shop, with customers, their, their presence, their treatment of the tattoo industry, it's just professional. And the colors are dope. <laughs> One of the main reasons I do conventions is it just it pushes me. I feel like I do some of my best work. So I'm just inspired by all the talent around here. This is my first year out here and my background is, is like painting and fine art. I went to art school. I like a lot of evil, horror. Some of the color choices are a little more heightened and hyper real. The more I got into it, man, it just it kind of changed my life. From the London Tattoo Show 2019. A third place best in show. We worked on this piece uh, for three days, uh, about 22 hours in total. I can't so, wait for that new machine, wireless. This it's one? the future. Yeah, oh, that's weird. This part here. Oh, but that's for another video next year. Yeah. <laughs>